The Trader Cobb Crypto Show, talking business in blockchain. Good everybody, and welcome to the Trader Cobb Crypto Show. Hope you're having a good start to your day. Listen, um, if you are anybody north of, say, Coffs Harbour, then I would suggest, if you're a surfer, that you should put your headphones down, call in sick, and go surfing. Because everywhere from north of Coffs on the south, sorry, on the east coast of Australia right now, even Bundaberg has waves, I am informed, is absolutely pumping. Absolutely pumping. And here I am in Sydney, not pumping. So go out, surf, enjoy yourselves because it's the only cyclone swell we have had, I believe, all year. So go and break that wave drought and enjoy yourselves. The markets will be here when you get back and you're refreshed and you've had a nice cup of Milo and some $2 hot chips with chicken salt from your local top shop. Go get into it. For everybody else around the world that listens to that, I'm sorry, you've got no idea what I'm talking about. (laughs) Anyway, let's get stuck into what I'm seeing out there right now. Again, just wanted to focus a little bit on the news today before I go into walking you through what I'm seeing uh, in price. We're, um, again, still seeing this positive uh, slant uh, from these different media outlets. For example, one saying Bitcoin breaking past $5,000 could confirm bullish trend reversal. Now, I know that this is just rubbish talk. Um, it's a could be, you know, no one knows. Uh, but, you know, we're at 4000 To get to 5000 is only $1,000. It's not all that far. Does that mean we're in a bull market? No, not at all. It just means it's more positive. Now, this is according to Matty Greenspan of eToro. Yeah, okay, it doesn't really matter who it is, why it's coming from them. The bottom line is, yeah, if we got to 5000 we'd certainly be re- reassessing things. Another silly bit of news coming out, Bitcoin could be boosted by sudden shift in attitude, new survey reveals. It's almost like a parody piece. Um, Of course, Bitcoin could be boosted by a sudden shift in attitude. So could governments, so could everything. You know, if the whole world decided that they all wanted Bitcoin, yeah, it'd be worth an absolute huge amount. If the whole world decided they wanted a different sort of democracy, yep, it would change too. These are the facts. So uh, not really that interesting there. Uh, what else have we got? One thing I do see is really positive in the news at the moment that many people might overlook is that Pantera Capital has secured $125 million for its third cryptocurrency venture fund. Now, that is of interest because that's a, it's not a lot of money. It's, I mean, it is a lot of money, don't get me wrong, but it's not uh, an institutional large amount of money. It'd be interesting to know where the breakdown of that comes from. Is that 125 exclusively institutions in there or is that raising from family office high net worth and the general public. I'm going to have to dig a little deeper in that one and just see what exactly it is. Whichever way you look at it, it's still positive. It's still showing that uh, $125 million of capital uh, is interested in expansion within this sector. And a venture fund is typically a higher risk sort of place and they're hoping to get in a little bit earlier uh, to take advantage. Venture seems to be there at the forefront of most breaking, uh, you know, trends uh, and new emerging markets. So very interesting there. Um, a lot of other rubbish in the, in, in the news, really. Um, uh, you know, the guy who owns Reddit or co-founder said that uh, crypto investors should have been thinking long term. Yep, wonderful. Thanks for that, mate. Excellent to hear that wonderful piece of uh, nothing for us to take there. Um, and that's about it as far as the news goes from significant points of view. Now, looking at Bitcoin, let me tell you what happened yesterday. Uh, yesterday, we saw a bit of a uh, hiccup we'll call it, all right? Um, I watched it actually occur live right in front of my face as I was watching um, one of these, like a a resistance level with the apprentices that I work with here at TraderCobb.com. These guys didn't take that trade. I said, you know, they decided not to. I I was not looking to take the trade at all. I didn't even really see any level. Um, And it it broke up through about 4,072, right? 4,072 popped up through there. And uh, it ended up climbing really quickly to 4,145. Now, the issue that I had with that was how quickly that actually happened. Uh, It just raced straight up, just went in one big spike, kaboom, straight up, and then ultimately straight back down. And when we see that sort of activity, especially on this Bitcoin market, uh, we do tend to see 
um, you know, a reversal quite quickly. Now, the reversal took a little bit of time. It, it didn't instantly occur. Uh, it wasn't right away that we saw the market pull back. We did see it pull back in the hours following. So we had a high, it was the high of 4,145. And by the time we set a low, we had a, a low of 3,918. So a hundred and something dollar move there. Now, not, not a major move, but what that did was it basically tested the upper side and the lower side of price for that day. And we haven't changed from there since. Now we're back within that range, hanging yet again around 4,000. <clears> Excuse me. Now, the longer we sit it in and around that 4,000 mark, the more likely it seems to me that we'll hold it. Now, I have been wrong before, and I put a video out to all my subscribers yesterday. That's right, all my subscribers. You can you don't have to pay to get a subscription, guys. Just go to tradercob.com, and uh, you know you can just, just the best thing to do is go tradercob.com forward slash free tools. You get a bunch of free courses there. It'll explain what the strategies are, how I trade, and you'll also get put onto that biweekly video news newsletter. Um, but yeah, I was sort of saying I wouldn't be surprised if we did see a sharp pullback. Uh, we saw the beginnings of that sharp pullback. I, I put that video out yesterday. But then we just sort of, we, we bounced immediately back. And we're sitting at 4,006 right now. Really interesting way of looking at this chart is to see it holding in that range. Again, this could be the start of another bit of a consolidation like we did see after uh, the 8th of February Friday spike. Uh, it has been another positive week thus far. You know, the week is uh, looking to end in, well, basically 24 hours. Sorry, the week will end on Monday. But so far, we are bullish. We are up 7.26% on the week. Be interesting to see what we get today, if we do get further upside, if we consolidate, or if we move lower. There is some opportunity out there. We are looking for pullbacks uh, within my community anyway, looking to see if there's any opportunities to be trading long uh, coming off of and that little pullback. The problem is, is many of these pullbacks happen so quickly that uh, there's a bit of a spike on many of these. So um, a little bit of patience still required for many of these markets. Either way, I do like the way that we are sitting this week so far. So guys, have a fantastic weekend. I'll be with you again very, very soon. And like I said, get across to tradercob.com forward slash free tools. Bye for now. The Trader Cobb Crypto Show, talking business in blockchain.